below. Welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Ori Yates. Now let us not get into a big debate about the date that this recording is going out. I am only here to present the Word of God, so my concern is that what I do honors Him. Due to the limited time I've had today, today's reading is read by Mark Penfold, reading from the Young's Literal Translation. This recording was originally made for the LibriVox.org library, and so everything you are about to hear is in the public domain, which is ideal for the Daily Vigil Bible. It's Leviticus chapter 14 today, continuing to look at the rules concerning leprosy. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus chapter 14 And Jehovah speaketh unto Moses, saying, This is a law of the leper in the day of his cleansing, that he hath been brought in unto the priest, and the priest hath gone out unto the outside of the camp, and the priest hath seen, and lo, the plague of leprosy hath ceased from the leper, and the priest hath commanded, and he hath taken for him who is to be cleansed two clean living birds, and cedar wood, and scarlet, and hyssop. And the priest hath commanded, and he hath slaughtered one bird upon an earthen vessel over running water. As to the living bird, he taketh it, and the cedar wood, and the scarlet, and the hyssop, and hath dipped them and the living bird in the blood of the slaughtered bird over the running water. And he hath sprinkled on him who is to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times, and hath pronounced him clean, and hath sent out the living bird on the face of the field. And he who is to be cleansed hath washed his garments, and hath shaved all his hair, and hath bathed with water, and hath been clean. And afterwards he doth come in unto the camp, and hath dwelt at the outside of his tent seven days. And it hath been on the seventh day, he shaveth all his hair, his head, and his beard, and his eyebrows, even all his hair he doth shave. And he hath washed his garments, and hath bathed his flesh with water, and hath been clean. And on the eighth day he taketh two lambs, perfect ones, and one ewe lamb, daughter of a year, a perfect one, and three-tenth deals of flour for a present, mixed with oil, and one log of oil. And the priest who is cleansing hath caused the man who is to be cleansed to stand with them before Jehovah at the opening of the tent of meeting. And the priest hath taken the one he lamb, and hath brought it near for a guilt offering, also the log of oil, and hath waved them a wave offering before Jehovah. And he hath slaughtered the lamb in the place where he slaughtereth the sin offering and the burnt offering in the holy place. For like the sin offering, the guilt offering is to the priest, it is most holy. And the priest hath taken of the blood of the guilt offering, and the priest hath put on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed, and on the thumb of his right hand, and on the great toe of his right foot. And the priest hath taken of the log of oil, and hath poured on the left palm of the priest. And the priest hath dipped his right finger in the oil which is on his left palm, and hath sprinkled of the oil with his finger seven times before Jehovah. And of the residue of the oil which is on his palm, the priest putteth on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed, and on the thumb of his right hand, and on the great toe of his right foot, on the blood of the guilt offering. And the remnant of the oil which is on the palm of the priest, he putteth on the head of him who is to be cleansed. And the priest hath made atonement for him before Jehovah. And the priest hath made the sin offering, and hath made atonement for him who is to be cleansed from his uncleanness. And afterwards he doth slaughter the burnt offering. And the priest hath caused the burnt offering to ascend, also the present, on the altar. And the priest hath made atonement for him, and he hath been clean. And if he is poor, and his hand is not reaching these things, then he hath taken one lamb, a guilt offering, for a wave offering, to make atonement for him, and one-tenth deal of flour mixed with oil for a present, and a log of oil, and two turtle-doves, or two young pigeons, which his hand reacheth to, and one hath been a sin offering, and the one a burnt offering. And he hath brought them in on the eighth day for his cleansing unto the priest, unto the opening of the tent of meeting, before Jehovah. And the priest hath taken the lamb of the guilt offering, and the log of oil, and the priest hath waved them, a wave offering before Jehovah. 
and he hath slaughtered the lamb of the guilt offering and the priest hath taken of the blood of the guilt offering and hath put on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed and on the thumb of his right hand and on the great toe of his right foot and the priest doth pour of the oil on the left palm of the priest and the priest hath sprinkled with his right finger of the oil which is on his left palm seven times before jehovah and the priest hath put of the oil which is on his palm on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed and on the thumb of his right hand and on the great toe of his right foot on the place of the blood of the guilt offering and the remnant of the oil which is on the palm of the priest he doth put on the head of him who is to be cleansed to make atonement for him before jehovah and he hath made the one of the turtle doves or of the young pigeons from that which his hand reacheth to even that which his hand reacheth to the one a sin offering and the one a burnt offering besides the present and the priest hath made atonement for him who is to be cleansed before jehovah this is a law of him in whom is a plague of leprosy whose hand reacheth not to his cleansing and jehovah speaketh unto moses and unto aaron saying when ye come in unto the land of canaan which i am giving to you for a possession and i have put a plague of leprosy in a house in the land of your possession then hath he whose the house is come in and declared to the priest saying as a plague hath appeared to me in the house and the priest hath commanded and they have prepared the house before the priest cometh in to see the plague that all which is in the house be not unclean and afterwards doth the priest come in to see the house and he hath seen the plague and lo the plague is in the walls of the house hollow strakes very green or very red and their appearance is lower than the wall and the priest hath gone out of the house unto the opening of the house and hath shut up the house seven days and the priest hath turned back on the seventh day and hath seen and lo the plague hath spread in the walls of the house and the priest hath commanded and they have drawn out the stones in which the plague is and have cast them unto the outside of the city unto an unclean place and the house he doth cause to be scraped within round about and they have poured out the clay which they have scraped off at the outside of the city at an unclean place and they have taken other stones and brought them in unto the place of the stones and other clay he taketh and hath daubed the house and if the plague return and hath broken out in the house after he hath drawn out the stones and after the scraping of the house and after the daubing then hath the priest come in and seen and lo the plague hath spread in the house it is a fretting leprosy in the house it is unclean and he hath broken down the house its stones and its wood and all the clay of the house and he hath brought them forth unto the outside of the city unto an unclean place and he who is going in unto the house all the days he hath shut it up is unclean till the evening and he who is lying in the house doth wash his garments and he who is eating in the house doth wash his garments and if the priest certainly come in and hath seen and lo the plague hath not spread in the house after the daubing of the house then hath the priest pronounced the house clean for the plague hath been healed and he hath taken for the cleansing of the house two birds and cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop and he hath slaughtered the one bird upon an earthen vessel over running water and he hath taken the cedar wood and the hyssop and the scarlet and the living bird and hath dipped them in the blood of the slaughtered bird and in the running water and hath sprinkled upon the house seven times and he hath cleansed the house with the blood of the bird and with the running water and with the living bird and with the cedar wood and with the hyssop and with the scarlet and he hath sent away the living bird unto the outside of the city unto the face of the field and hath made atonement for the house and it hath been clean this is the law for every plague of the leprosy and for skull and for leprosy of a garment and of a house and for a rising and for a scab and for a bright spot to direct in the day of being unclean and in the day of being clean this is the law of the leprosy